Hey guys, so um, I tried to upload a 15 week update um, like last week. It didn't really work out. So anyway, um, somehow Lily figured out how to delete my videos. <laughs> okay, so I will be 16 weeks tomorrow. And um, so I guess this will be my 15, 16 week update. Um, a few things that have been changing are um, my chest. Um, I've started to leak colostrum already. Um, and I think that's what that feeling was of, um, like when I had said that my chest hurt so bad it felt like when I was breastfeeding. Um, so I think that was what it, it what it's been. So, now that I figured out why they hurt like that, um, you know, that's better. Um, another thing is I still am not gaining any weight at all. Um, I'm supposed to be up at least six pounds already, and I am not, I haven't gained anything at all. Maybe a few ounces, <laughs> but I am not gaining any weight in I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, um, especially since I started out at a, at a higher weight this time. Uh, I'm a little bit overweight for what I should be for, um, being pregnant and stuff. It, well, and for my height and, and all that, um, yeah, I'm just, I started out a little bit too heavy. So, and I don't know if it's the morning sickness that, that's my cat, if it's the morning sickness that had been keeping me from gaining weight, but I've been feeling better for a few weeks now, so I thought that I'd start gaining weight, but I'm, I'm just not, lay down, kitty, lay down. Um, so anyway, I'm going to have to pause this because I'm going to watch it. Um. Another symptom has been, I get tired, not too much, but I get tired at random, random bits throughout the day. Um, not so bad yet that I'm like, oh, I have to sleep right now. Um, hasn't been that bad. Sometimes it is, but it's really not too, too horrible. Um, I've been breaking out a lot. As you can tell, I've been playing with that, um, I had one here that's healing. I had one here. Um, I just been breaking out all the time, like all over, and um, there's really not much I can do to stop it. I wash my face every night before bed. I wash wash off all my makeup, and even half the time I hardly wear makeup. So <laughs> I think it's just you know the hormonal change with pregnancy. Um, my face gets a little bit more oily when I'm pregnant, so. You know, it's bound to happen, whatever. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It sucks because some of them are like, well, actually most of them, they're the really, really deep ones, like the whitehead things, and they hurt so bad. Um, but I just deal with it, you know, cover it up, whatever, if I go out in public. If not, I really don't care what it looks like. Um, let's see. I still get nauseous every now and then. Um, especially if I don't eat once I'm feeling hungry. If I get too hungry and I don't eat, I start feeling really, really nauseous and I do throw up. Um, and then once I get to that point and then I do eat, it's just not good. It just kind of is downhill from there. Um, I just kind of stay nauseous. So I have to really make myself eat. That's another thing is, you know, once you're not feeling nauseous anymore, usually you go through that really, really hungry stage where you just feel like you eat, 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 and you never feel full. Okay, well, I'm waiting for that again. That happened in the very beginning, right before my morning sickness, at around, you know, like between four to six weeks, I was feeling that. And then once my morning sickness kicked in, you know, obviously I wasn't, I wasn't hungry at all. But now that my morning sickness is, for the most part, gone, um... I am still not hungry, and I don't know if that's contributing to my weight also, you know, like me not gaining weight. Um, I eat. I mean, I do. I eat. It's not like I'm skipping on purpose. I just, I don't get hungry enough to just go make myself 
eat. And so it's more that I'm forcing myself to eat and um, it's hard guys, it's really hard and I don't, I don't know what to do, nothing sounds good, but at the same time everything does, so it's really weird. And I really haven't had any specific food cravings or food aversions that I could come up with right off the top of my head because I really haven't had too many. Um, I guess one would be like sour cream, anything that goes good with sour cream I've been craving. But other than that, I really, I'm not craving a whole lot. Um, I've been eating a lot of like carrots with ranch, <sighs> mostly snack foods. And not all are unhealthy, you know, like there's chips and what whatnot in there, but I've been eating like the carrots and, and apples and snacking on things like that. So, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with me. I'm just like, bleh. So, those are a few symptoms. Um, what else? I've noticed with my prenatals, my hair is, is um, a lot shinier, as in healthier, not greasy. Um, the hair does grow quicker, but that goes for the rest of my body, like my eyebrow hair, my armpit hair, my leg hair, it all grows a lot quicker, so I'm having to shave a lot more, um, a lot more often anyway, I mean, if I feel like it, <laughs> I mean, I shave my armpits, my legs, though, sometimes I'll just let those puppies go, <laughs> but then it gets itchy in my pants, like, my pants rubbing on my legs, and I can't. I can't handle that. Okay, enough about leg hair and stuff. Um, my nails have been growing, but then I bite them, and then they grow right back. I have been getting, the past two days I've had this energy burst. Um, I cleaned my house top to bottom, organized everything. I rearranged the living room. I just, today, I went and um, organized my cupboards, like my junk drawers, um, they were out of control, so I organized all three of those <laughs> in the kitchen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just had, I've been getting an energy burst um, for <clears throat> workouts. I'm trying not to sit around this time with Lily. I just sat around. But I mean, now that I have Lily, you know, I'm chasing her around, going up and down the stairs constantly and all that stuff. But also I've been doing my, my Just Dance on my Wii to um, burn a few extra calories. or just keep myself a little bit more in shape this time so that I don't get as chunky as I did with her. Because I really just did not take care of myself physically the way that I should have. I, I just wasn't physically active the way I should have been when I was pregnant with Lily. Um, so I'm really trying to avoid that this time and be a lot more physically active. And I already am with having a toddler. But um, I kind of want to do a little bit extra um, because I don't want to gain more weight than I'm supposed to. Um, but I guess I'd have to start gaining weight in the first place. So we'll see what my doctor says. I go in um, on March 7th, but then I'll be 18 weeks. And then we're going to schedule my gender ultrasound for either that week or it'll probably be the following week because... I go in on a Wednesday, so who knows how soon they can get me in anyway. Um, that's kind of exciting because although they did tell us in our 13-week ultrasound that it looks like it's going to be a girl, I still i am not 100% convinced, and I really don't have any feelings like towards what it's going to be. I don't feel more that it's going to be a boy than a girl, and same. I don't feel that it's going to be a girl more than it's going to be a boy. I don't know what to think at all at all with Lily I could have sworn to you that she was gonna be a boy and she was <laughs> so <laughs> whatever I if you know if I did have a feeling I would I'm not gonna trust it anyway because obviously I'm wrong so I don't know what to think um Darren thinks it's a girl the rest of my family thinks it's a girl um Darren's family they kind of think it might be a boy but who knows? Who knows? I'm excited to find out. And then um, I'll let you know the names because we have picked out boy name, a boy name and a girl name. So we're, and we're dead set on those. So we have names picked out already. And I'm super excited. I just can't wait to stop calling it it or baby or whatever I want to call it by its name. Um, And I think that's really... 
about it. Oh, I did, I have been feeling the baby move. Um, and yeah, it feels like gas bubbles popping or like popcorn. Um, and sometimes if I lay flat on my back and I feel, then um, sometimes my uterus will get hard, like where the baby is. And actually last night I was laying on the floor and I was feeling it and I was like, can you see my tummy poking up, honey? He goes, yeah, but you were a lot bigger, you know, this time around with Lily. And I was like, yeah. And um, I was like, oh, holy cow, come feel this, come feel this. And he got down the floor and he put his hand on my belly and, you know, he's feeling around and we could feel the baby moving around. It was so cool. Um, and for me, it just feels like a little bit of pressure wherever the baby is. I feel a pressure. And then um, just like the, like it feels like a, like that. I don't know. It's so weird. So that was really exciting. Um, really cool. <sighs> I'm still wearing my normal clothes. I'm not in maternity clothes yet. Although shirts, I have had to kind of try to start looking for some shirts, but pants wise, um, when I bought clothes, I just bought a size bigger that they were more stretchy so um, I'm still fitting in those and they're they're going around my belly just fine so um, and they stretch out so whew, there's no problem so far um, so I guess that's pretty much it so I'll do a belly shot and then we will see you back for week 17 So I have like three shirts on, so excuse me. Um, I'll try to stand up against this wall. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if any of you followed my videos when I was pregnant with Lily. I wore this shirt in a video with her where she was doing some crazy movements and I was like 30 something weeks pregnant. I was huge. So there it is. Um, no stretch marks. Not any new ones anyway. None to report. Right here. It's the bump. And I'd say my uterus is about here, yeah, it's about up to here already. So, and I can really feel the baby move down here a lot. So it's pretty cool. So anyway, that is my update, and um, yeah, we'll see you back for week seven. I don't know. I can't really do it on one hand. One, five, two, seventeen. So thanks, guys. Bye.